Hi, welcome to Ruth's Kitchen. And uh, this is the next step. We are preparing pumpkin for use in pumpkin pie, pumpkin bars, pumpkin whatever you like. We've cut up the pumpkin, taken the seeds out, cut it into palm sized pieces, put it in a big uh, pot filled just barely over the pumpkin with water. We've cooked it an hour and a half. Um, we've dumped it out into the colander, strained the water out, and let it cool. We're at the point now where we're actually going to blend it up and make it into usable pumpkin puree. And um, I've done some of it already because I wanted to test out which utensil I used. Um, I haven't done this since last year. And what I found out is you don't really want to use your blender. The blender has little tiny blades at the bottom and they stay pretty much in the middle and so it depends on drawing the mixture down to the bottom so that it can whir it up. Blenders work best when you're going to put liquid in something and, and get it mixed up or, or cut up ice. We are not adding anything to this pumpkin. It has enough water in it. In fact, we're going to strain some of it out in the next step. So I really recommend that you don't, even this small amount that I put in here, I had a problem with. So I'm going to dump this into the food processor. Now, oddly enough, um, I did not intend for this to be a Tupperware commercial. Not at all, really. I do sell Tupperware, and most people that I know know that about me. But um, what happened was, four years ago, just about the time that I started in Tupperware, my food processor had its motor burning out. And every time I used it, you could smell it. So finally, Christmas of the year that I started in Tupperware, they came out with a what I call cordless food processor. It's wonderful. I use it to make salsa, chop onions, carrots, tomatoes, you know, the whole ball of wax. And you can control how finely it chops things. And I really like that about it. Instead of pushing the button and it just takes off and it's now puree, whether that's what you want it or not. So anyway, what I've found is since I don't, I threw out my food processor, I'm going to use my Tupperware one. <laughs> and this is an older model. They're now um, green, I think, is the latest color. But what I want to show you is I have cooled and drained the pieces of pumpkin. And I mentioned before that you were it was going to be so easy that you could literally peel the rind off of it. You could pick this off, but I'm going to show you an easier way. Grab a spoon, and this is a tablespoon. And all you really have to do is go down into the flesh just above the rind, and you literally can just pick it up. This is so, um, so well cooked, you could literally do this with your hand. You don't even really need a spoon, but I prefer the control of the spoon. And then I kind of scrape a little bit more off. I try and get down as far as I can, getting everything except for the rind. Now, I've blended most of this up already. And um, hopefully I'll have enough in this small batch that's left to blend it. Because I'm down to the tail end of what's in my colander. <laughs> So I'm just going to put the lid on here. There we go. See, there's very little in it, actually. And the way this works is you just hold on to it. And you can see through the side, so you can know when you're done. That literally took, what, 10 seconds? There's a couple pieces of uh, rind in there that I see I missed. but. What you'll see then, I really hate using metal inside my Tupperware because it scratches it. So I usually try and tell people not to do that. But here's what we have. We have mush. <laughs> Excuse me. We have puree. All right. Now there is still a lot of water in this. There's a lot of water in pumpkin period. I'm going to strain this through my strainer, but I want to show you 
what I have set here from the last batch. I've put it in a strainer and this has really only been sitting not even 10 minutes and I have that much water in there. See that? And that's all I did is put it into the strainer. Whoops! Oh shoot! I guess I'm going to be straining it again. <laughs> yep! Only Ruth could do that. <laughs> and get it on the screen as well.